are plenty of vacant jobs out there right now, including in an elite profession, airline pilot. But as Kagan 9 on your side's Craig Smith reports, a local community college is helping aspiring pilots chart a course for the flight deck. If you've flown anywhere lately, you might have run into terrible delays likely caused by pilot shortages. Well, aircraft like this and Cochise College are part of the solution. Gabriella Zubiati is making sure her classroom is ready to fly. She's an instructor in the Cochise College pilot training program. At its home base in Douglas, the program has a fleet of modern planes, great weather, and its own runway. Roughly two years ago, she was a student, and the memory of that first solo flight is still fresh. It doesn't really hit you until you actually take off, and then you realize that you're going to have to turn around and land it. So yeah, that, that was probably the best part, right when you take off and you just kind of are up there and it's way more quiet and the whole plane feels empty and you're like looking around and it's awesome experience. After two years at Cochise College, she was able to license as an instructor. Teaching helps her rack up the flight hours required to fly for the airlines. She knows there are plenty of opportunities. There's been a growing pilot shortage for years lately. Passengers have seen that shortage translate into delays and cancellations as airlines struggle to staff their flights. Cochise County Aviation Director Belinda Burnett says a lot of airline pilots are reaching mandatory retirement age. And you couple that with the military not training as many manned pilots as they used to train in the past with the upcoming of the UAV or the unmanned systems that are in the military. The military is just not producing as many manned pilots that are coming out to go civilian. She says it used to take pilots from Cochise College 10 to 12 years to fly for a major airline. Now they're flying with regional carriers for three or four years, then getting first officer jobs with the majors. That's the course Gabriella Zubiati plans to fly, starting with a regional carrier in a few months and working towards the pilot seat of one of the biggest planes in the air. My dream aircraft right now would probably be, I would say like a Boeing 777, like one of the big planes that go overseas to Europe and Asia and stuff. And with pilot demand so high, it's not such a long trip to a plane like that from the little trainer she flies now. In Douglas, Craig Smith, KGUN 9 on your side.